I'm Tech Steve, and if you own an Apple computer, you're probably pretty frustrated sometimes when it runs slow, you have a lot of extra files that you can't get rid of. Well, back in August of 2017, I purchased a software called Clean My Mac 3. Now, since then, it was able to clean my Mac, get it running up to optimum speed, and to this day, I still use it on all my computers. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you the new version, which is Clean My Mac X. And currently I use it on my MacBook Pro as well as my desktop computers that I use for editing. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to set it up and how it can make your computer faster by cleaning up old files. So sit back and relax, and let's get into it. The first thing we need to do is go ahead and get it all set up and running. Go ahead and open up your web browser and go to macpile.com. As you can see here, they have all kinds of different types of software, but the one we're going to focus on today is Clean My Mac X. Go ahead and press on it. Now you can download it for free, but it's a trial version, so it won't do all your cleaning, but it'll show you what's wrong with your computer. Let's go and do that. You can subscribe to their newsletter, but you don't have to. You can see at the bottom, it's already starting to download right here. Now that I have it downloaded, let's go ahead and open it up. So when you get a screen like this, just take the icon and drag it over to Applications. And as you can see, it's right here. Just double click on it to open it up. There's a few permissions we need to do, but go ahead and press open. So here's what the main page looks like. It can clean up your system, protect your system, speed it up. It can also uninstall application and you can look at files so you can uninstall ones that are too large that you're not using anymore. This is the computer that I use for my, all my videos. So I'm sure it's gonna find some stuff, but let's go ahead and scan and see what it finds. It took about one minute to scan and you can see I have 757 gigs of junk files. The protection was good and there's three things I could do to speed up my computer. But let's go and run it and see what happens. In order to clean it, you're gonna need to go ahead and purchase the main file. But there's a discount that pops up from time to time. Now we'll tell you that the software does have a cost associated with it like I showed you that I purchased. But when you think about it, people buy antivirus programs, malware programs and things like that. But this is a program that's gonna help keep your computer running at optimum speed. Let's check out the pricing. So every year you need to update the description, but you can see right here, you can do one computer for around $39, two computers for around $79, and $199 for five computers. And if you just wanna purchase at one time, you can see you can get that for $89. Two computers are gonna cost you up to $179, and you can do five computers for only $449. The next thing you need to do is go ahead and activate your license. Since I already have one, I'm gonna click on it right here. And just go ahead and copy and paste your license into that box. And you'll get a pop-up like this once you activate it. Then go ahead and press OK. Next, you wanna enter your computer's password so you can install Helper. And this will allow the application to read and write to your hard drive to clean up those files. So as you can see here, it's starting to clean up all those junk files since I have the license key installed. Once it's done, if you get a triangle like this, you click on it, It'll tell you why it couldn't clean a particular thing. In this case, I have Google Chrome running in the background, so I need to close that and run it again, and that'll solve that problem. Now, just remember, the smart scan will automatically clean your computer for most people, but techies like me like to take it just a step farther, so I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step of all the different tabs on the side so you can see what you can optimize just a little bit more. So I just showed you the automatic scanning, but there's a deeper dive that you can do on your computer, which I really like about this software. First of all, let's go to cleanup. Under system junk, this helps remove temporary files that you got whenever you're installing some type of program, and it also finds errors. And by pressing scan, it'll choose just this program instead of doing the whole computer. And on my computer, it found additional 1.4 gigabytes of files that I may not need, but I can click here to review it. And you can see there's some uh, different applications that it may, may not need, but I don't recommend you uninstall anything just in case you don't know what it is. Now let's go over to mail attachments. This one can save you space just for email attachments that you no longer use. Also, it can optimize the mail that's actually downloaded to your computer. And if you deleted files, you can empty your trash ban just with one click. You have malware removal, privacies, optimization, which I like on this one is that when you choose a login, these are all the different applications that start as soon as I turn on my computer and I can enable them or disable them right there. And once again, these are things that launch as soon as I turn on my computer, so I can uninstall those or disable them if I don't need them. And under maintenance, if you feel like your system's running slow, you can click on any of these that you like and you can run those. And they'll look for different things, again, that your computer don't need at the time that you're using it. Now, when it comes to applications, the uninstaller is probably my favorite. 
The biggest thing I use is leftovers. So who would know after you uninstall the application, it leaves these little files that you don't even need. But all you need to do is you can check on these boxes and click on uninstall and it'll get rid of all those files you really don't need. Another thing you can do with this is you can see all the apps you installed from the app store. You can uninstall them right there. These are other apps that I installed from third party sources. And then it labels them by the vendor, which is pretty cool as well. Another one I like is updater. So once you purchase things through the Apple store, you can click on these and you can update the application right there just in case you missed them on your automatic Apple update. You have extensions and these are like plugins that you might install from the internet. You can uninstall those or remove them if you don't need them. And then under files, you have space lens. And when you press on it, it gives you an overall outlook of everything that's installed in your computer. So you can see the bigger picture of what's actually taken up space that you don't even need. See at the snapshot, I can say that all my personal files about 1.48 gigs. I have about 30 gigs of installed applications and you can go down the system here. And again, if you don't think you need them, you can get rid of them, especially if you have your computer for a long time. And then the last few is you can scan for large files. And these may be old computers or movies or files, pictures, things like that. You don't really need anymore. You can click on them and uninstall them if you need to. And then another one of my favorites is shredder down here. Here you can click on select files. And if you click on something and open it, and if you click on shred, not only will it remove your computer, but it'll do a deep dive to try to find every file about it. So it's completely removed for any kind of future findings. So as you can see, this is full of features, but there's one more thing that I want to show you. Up in the taskbar, there's actually an icon that you can click on, and then there's more features where you can customize it. Let me show you. Let's take a closer look at the shortcut features. If you go to the top of the screen, you're going to see a little tiny computer. Just click on it. And at a glance, you can see how much hard space you have available, and you can press free up. You also can free up memory right there. You can see if you have anything in your trash can. It'll also show your computer processor and how much load is on it at the time. You can test your network speeds. You can scan for virus programs and you can even sign into Dropbox if you need it. Now, if you press on open clean my Mac, it'll go right back to the program. But over here in the corner, there's a little gear that gives you more options. If you click on it and go to preferences, you have general where you can do sounds as well as change your language. You can uncheck things that you don't want to scan. You also have thresholds that you can customize right here. And then you have instruments. You have assistance. And this will remind you when to clean up from time to time. There's a real time malware monitor. You can turn it off and on. And remember when we gave your permissions earlier, it has full access to your disk. You can have it set up to automatic update or turn that off by unchecking the box here. And you can also do test beta versions once you purchase it. You can share your statistics just in case your computer crash or anything like that. And this last part is you can ignore these different scans. So if you don't use these features, you can disable them so your scan is much faster. So that's pretty much how everything works and how to set it up. So if you want to try it out, I'm going to leave a link in the comments below. And if you own it already, tell me what you guys think. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys on my next video. Peace.